Thanks for tuning in to another shed hunting video, to another kill switch video. Much appreciated. We're looking at 3.15 in the morning right now. We're headed up to uh, the spot that I love the most in the world here in my home state of Wyoming. Uh, we do have a May 1st rule here, but it's our state's kind of different that way. It applies only to the, the pretty much the wintering grounds. We've watched these elk for a while. We're not going to be pushing them, bumping them, or anything like that. So it's a little bit different here than other states uh, with the climate that we have in Wyoming. You don't want to, you don't want these animals to expend any more energy than they already expend in the winter. I'm not out there picking up antlers at the stress of the animal. So the area that we're going is not a part of the May 1st rule. Um, the May 1st rule expands from a certain part of our state up and over. So about a third of our state is uh, mandated on that May 1st rule, but. We're going just above that line, outside of that line. Thank you for building this thing with us. We're growing, and it's really cool that you guys are growing with us. Let's go pick up some of these home state antlers. We're back in my home state. No place I'd rather be. We're in a lot of snow right now, so we got quite a bit of a hike to get in here and get out of the snow, but um, we're headed a few miles toward the sun. There's a lot of lower stuff down there that I know that there's some elk living in, so we're gonna get down there and see if we can't pick up some of their trash. Love having you guys along with us. Appreciate you. Um, I don't know if you can see me, the sun's pretty nuts, but we're finally out of the snow. We got in here uh, a few minutes ago and started seeing the sign that we wanted to see and all that stuff, so we definitely put ourselves in the right spot. Pop my Head over the hill, there's a little five point ragger over here. A small five. I didn't realize it was that bright, but right in the middle, right out in the open. Let's go pick him up. A bunch of brownie. Nothing big, but that's what we hiked in here for, browns. Put enough of these in the pack, it's gonna be a good day. Little fiver, little guy. They're in here. Um, my buddy Brian is right up on top of the ridge over here, and he just looked west. And there's about 30, 30 heads standing over there. Most of them are shed bulls. So we're gonna poke around in here. Not gonna be too optimistic and count my ducks before they hatch, but or count my chickens or however the phrase goes. Let's see what else we can find in here, guys. Got a herd of shed bulls right here, going up the hill. I can't zoom any further, but they're going up the ridge right there. You can see them going up. Yeah, I just counted them. They keep coming out of the bottom. They're right there. Counting seven shed bulls. They're all shed. All of them are bulls. They keep coming out of the bottom. Really windy. Um, I don't know if you can hear me or not. We're headed back to where we found this horn. We've still only found this one. It's like 10 o'clock. We've been hiking for, it's been like two and a half hours since we found this one. So it's been kind of a dry spell, but we're gonna go back to where we found this one because that was where the most sign was. We shouldn't have left it in the first place. Uh, kind of a dumb move, but saw some pretty cool stuff. We've got a waterfall right here. Some crazy runoff from the uh, giant snowstorm that we had like March 22nd, so. Everything's melting, springs around. We've seen like 40 elk. We're gonna go back to where we saw them and see if we can't find some more horns. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Um, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good experience. If you're shed hunting out there, I hope y'all are having some good luck. Um, even though it's only one horn, it's brown. 
I've been watching elk all day, sitting in front of a waterfall. There's no bad days when you're out here, man. So, hope y'all are enjoying it and relishing in it. We'll talk to you soon. The way things are going right now, this is a big deal. Little chalky old piece of a rag. Look at that little dude. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing that I ain't happy about, man. It uh, breaks a, a pretty dry streak, so it's going on the pack. What's up, everybody? We switched it up just a little bit. Instead of hanging out up on the top in the sage flats, which was working, because we obviously found the one brown today. I dropped down into this draw. And, oh, yes. So I've got one horn right here. And I've got a leaner. I've got a leaner right up here. I'm gonna show you guys. This is freaking sweet. No sooner did I drop down into this, we found the pocket. I think I've, I don't think that's a third horn, but I know I've got two. Uh, that's, there's, yeah, here, I'll show you guys. I was coming down this trail right here. Just this, this trail, there's no fresh sign. Um, that big storm we had kind of washed out all the sign. When I was coming down the trail, um, back that way, I just happened to look over across the snow here, and I can't zoom in too far with this, with this lens, but I've got a horn right there. I already put it on the glass. Let it fall right there. And then, I don't know if I can see this one because it's shaded really bad. I just thought I saw a horn and it's leaning up against this tree right here in the shadow. I don't think you can see it, but we're gonna walk up on it and check it out. So let's go get this one first. Man, it comes quick sometimes, I swear. You gotta live by that adage just over the next ridge when you're getting dominated. And we've been getting flipping dominated today. So let's go ahead and pick this sucker up. Maybe, maybe you guys are lucky. Maybe I just need to keep rolling this whole time. Oh, he's broken. Dang it. Looks like he's got some good mass. Oh yeah, he's brown. Heavy bull. Son of a gun. Just broken straight off of his main beam. Oh, it's a heartbreaker. But, that's a good bull, you guys. That's a really good bull. Pretty good third for Wyoming. If I had to imagine, he had quite a bit on the back end. Probably a 300, 310 bull. Not a, not a bruiser by any means, but. All right, let's go pick this uh, second one up here and we'll get them both on the pack. At the same time here. All right, I gotta remember what tree he was leaning against. The trail's right there. This might be this one's match. Oh, there it is. Yes. He looks intact. I gotta grid this. Now he's all broken up too, man. All broken up. I think that's just this is his match. Yep, that's a set. That's my first brown set of 2021. Kind of a day saver, really. It's been quite a day. Started out really early and thought we had it figured out, but it just dried up. It's good to know that we're still finding them here. I think we made the right move coming into this bottom. Let's pick these up and go see if we can find some more. I'm going to set it up here and we'll, fit, we'll pick up the set since it's my first one. A little leaner. I will take that. Mass, a massive bull. Actually, you know what? He would have been a good bull. That's his sword. He's broke off just after his sword. Still on the main beam. He was just a bruiser, a battler. My gosh. Just a... Just a battler. A lot of blood, it's pretty fresh. There's some uh, blood on the base. He's already been chewed on at the base of this tree on all three.
three of his points. Well, he's on his third and his first, but let me grab this other one. It is a set from that one I just found. It's my first brown set of the year, but um, you can even see me. Here. It's in pieces. I mean, he is beat up. This bull had nothing left. He was just a battler. He was a fighter. Good bull, though. He would have been a really good bull. He has really solid swords. Um, 15, 16 inch sword. Good mass. Who knows what he would have been back here, but I'll bet he's probably a 300 bull, give or take. A little weak on the fronts, real weak thirds, but really good mass, good sword. You can only guess what he was, so. But you know what? I mean, even if it's pieces and chunks of bone, it's still brown antler and it's still brown elk antler, so. And it's my first brown set of 2021, so we'll go ahead and chalk that up as a big fat W. Thank you guys for sticking with us. It's been a rough day, but we got a lot of day left. It's only 12:40, so we're gonna hit this finger ridge around the corner here and uh, kind of do the same thing that we were just doing. Um, I might grid all this though. I did find the set, but I might grid it to see if he wasn't alone. Cause man, whoever he was fighting with, I'd like their horns too. Let's go get them. Alright guys, I'm almost to the truck. Ended up with four on the day. I'm calling it a day, it's like four o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here. With four sheds on the day. Not a bad day, not my best day ever, but man, when that set kind of saved us, so that's awesome. And I think that just being thankful for the chalk, maybe the shed guys were like, all right. Even though it was a super busted set, it's it's a set and it's our first Brown set of 2021, so. So I'm gonna bust it on out of here and I'll see you guys. Remember, same old, same old, always hike out heavy. Even if you don't have meat or bones on your back, it's all about the experience. You guys take care, we'll see you next time.